This is a quick tip on how to use graph to drill down uh, into the detail of documents. Um, so in the future, we will make this a much slicker operation so you can select a bunch of nodes and drill down to any kind of other parts of Kibana and, and look at uh, visualizations filtered by your selections in the graph. Um, but right now, there, there is a way of doing it. It's a little bit manual, so um, I just wanted to walk you through what was involved. So what we're looking at is graph, we're looking at the last FM data, and we're looking at uh, the listening patterns of people um, and which artists they tend to listen to. So if we pick um, an artist that probably most people have heard of, so we'll go with Spice Girls, and we can see that people who like Spice Girls tend to like Victoria Beckham and Emma Bunton and all these kinds of things. So in graph, you can do things like group, uh, group things up, so we can select, uh, for example, here the members of uh, the Spice Girls, and we can put them all into one, uh, group them all up into that one group, which is the Spice Girls, and then we have some other similar sounding sort of bands, and then we can continue to walk the graph of uh, strongly connected uh, bands in that those sort of genre. Um, now, this is the bit where we can uh, pull out the query that we can reuse in Kibana. So this is the trick. So up here there's a button which is uh, a link icon which is used to add links between existing terms. So what that does is it creates a boolean or query, lots of should clauses, um, but it insists on finding people or documents that have at least two of the things in our workspace. So the purpose is to try and add missing links between the things we have in our workspace. So if I click the button here, um, it's, it will have added in a couple of links between steps and H and Claire, for example. Um, now, if you go into the settings panel, this is the, uh, the secret bit. Um, it shows the last request that we ran. So there's a number of settings in here that we said about the fact that we wanted to use significance and which sort of vertices we were looking for, and which other sorts of vertices we were looking to connect to. Um, but the bit down the bottom that's in of interest is the query here. So this is the actual Boolean query that helped us find people who liked at least two of these artists. So that's why we have minimum number should match two. And remember, we grouped the Spice Girls. Um, so we have essentially three uh, nodes uh, listed here, Saturday's Girls Allowed. But the third node, Spice Girls, is actually a grouped item of you know, all these various other different band members. So the grouping is preserved in the, in the Boolean query that we're using here. Right, so um, that's probably a level of detail that you're not too interested in, but what you can do is just collapse the whole thing um, and then copy and paste it. So we can copy it here, and then what I tend to do um, is have a separate tab open, which is uh, the rest of Kibana, and here I'm looking at the uh, Discover tab, for example, and this enables me to look at the raw documents. And what we can do um, is we can run a query here, so we can type a text query, or um, people might not be aware of the fact that you can actually just cut and paste um, JSON into here. Um, and if we do that, then we get highlighting and all that sort of stuff, so people who tend to like at least two of these sorts of bands. And this also applies to um, saved visualizations. So if I have a visualization, let's just have a look at um, ones I have available to me. Um, so this one is last FM, it's a save visualization gender split. So we can see 75% of uh, the last FM listeners are male, 25% female. Um, but again, we can see what happens um, if we run a query to say we'll find people who like at least, let's say two of those bands. And we can see that the, uh, the gender split's gone uh, to, uh, more towards uh, female fans. Um, now, of course, you can edit uh, the JSON here, and actually one of the interesting things that happens is if you increase the, uh, the fussiness of this query, if you say, well, I'm after people who don't just like two of these bands, but maybe three, maybe four, or five, or six, the more of these bands that you like, the more uh, it increases the probability of being male, actually, curiously, rather than female. So that's something that I you know, hadn't expected to see. Uh, in the data, but it's something that is revealed when you're able to connect um, and drill down into the visualizations that Kibana has to offer. So th that's the tip, it's a pretty simple one. Uh, use the link button, then go into the settings panel and grab the query um, and cut and paste it into 
uh, Kibana to filter uh, your other visualizations. Uh, we will make this slicker in the future. You won't have to mess around with cut and paste, uh, but we're not quite there yet. That's it.